Hey there, Aries. Welcome to this 2021 year in review. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. So I feel like even though Spirit wants me to call this a year in review, I feel like that's a little bit, maybe a little misleading. What we're going to do in this session is we're going to look at the energies of the past year for you and bring forward whatever messages Spirit has for you in regards to what it is you've experienced over the year of 2021. And then we're going to look at some of the energies coming towards you for 2022. Okay. It's just, and this isn't really going to be, it's not supposed to be too long, but we'll see. Starting with you, Aries, you're the first one here. So we'll, <laughs> we'll see how it goes moving forward. But um, I have two tarot decks here. I'm going to use one tarot deck to kind of review, go over a review for you energetically for 2021. Then I'm going to use the other tarot deck to bring forward messages for you for 2022. Okay. And then I'm going to be closing out the reading with some Oracle guidance for you. And we are going to be using the Light Worker Oracle. Yeah. Excellent. So let's dive into this, Aries. Um, this can be for any placement, any placement that you like. Um, of course, the main ones, Sun, Moon, and Rising, would be the most relevant potentially, especially with like you know your rising sign being the absolute most relevant. Um, but you can want you can literally watch this whole series from Aries all the way through Pisces for any planetary placement you like. Okay, and if you want to watch as many of them as you can, like hit the big points for you and compare notes and contrast, that might be a really good idea for you. All right. Excellent, Aries. Let's get into this. I'm going to give this three shuffles here and let's see. Let's review. So what has 2021 been for you or at least what to close out this year? What messages does spirit have for you? OK. All right. So a card has already come out here for you, Aries, and I'm going to take it in reverse as it's come out in reverse. It is the King of Wands in reverse. OK, so the main theme so far that 2021 seems to have been for Sorry about that. Uh, the main thing that, okay, what the big thing, what, one of the biggest things that Spirit wants to put forward or talk about here is maybe a lack of confidence. Um, I feel like Aries 2021 may have been a time period or a year where um, you faced a lack of confidence. You might have, for some of you, you may have faced a loss of libido, okay? Um, but maybe even what I'm getting from the King of Wands in reverse is maybe losing a sense of direction in your life. Um, what it is you work for, what it is you strive for came under question this year. And so you may have really gone through a serious change in your process, in what it is you are passionate about, what it is you strive for, your sense of confidence. You may have run up into a bunch of situations that were, you know, um, destructive to your ego or your sense of self. Keep in mind, you guys, that in terms of the astrology for this year, now when I do astrology on my channel here, many of you know already, but if you're new to me, what I, I use true, the true sidereal system. And with that, Uranus has been in Aries. And as I've been saying on, on my channel, you know, for the last few months that we've been really focusing on it, I've been feeling like Uranus having been in Aries has really changed or helped to lead us through a change of our sense of self. Okay, so Aries, what I'm feeling for you with this King of Wands energy, man, your self-confidence may have taken a huge hit this year, but it's a good thing. It's part of a process. What I'm feeling for this is it's a part of getting you into greater alignment for your life so that moving forward here, you have a better chance of really achieving what it is your soul desired to achieve in this lifetime as you move forward. Okay, for some of you specifically, you, you reached a level this year of um, desiring soul growth over everything else. That could be another thing, another, another part of what the King of Wands in reverse represents for you. Some of, some of you here may have really decided to let a lot of your egoic pursuits go, okay? Um, and that's great. So what else do we have for Aries in the review of 2021 here? Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Okay, anything else? So we'll take that right there. Okay, overall energy is the Queen of Pentacles for you right now. Okay, and you have... Excellent. 
this is crazy. I mean, I, I pretty much got, I pretty much got the message for you, Aries, you know, just from this one card. But what else has come out here to, um, with this King of Wands in terms of, you know, your year in review? You have the Page of Pentacles in reverse, which to me is speaking to no longer wanting to be committed to things that you once were. Um, some op it may feel like some opportunities were taken away from you, but like I said, it was all an effort to change the cycle, okay? You have that with the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is upright, and then you also finally have the Knight of Wands here, okay? So this is definitely a change in your direction. I do feel like now that we've reached the end of the year, okay, um, I do kind of feel for a number of you that you could, you may already have a sense of this direction already, of where it is you're going, or I'm hearing at least what needed to change for you. All right. Um, the page of pentacles in reverse is definitely giving me, uh, again, energies of not starting anything, not continuing with anything. But the strongest thing that I'm getting for the page of pentacles in reverse for you, Aries, is no longer putting effort into certain commitments. And it's showing up as the page because those commitments weren't really, I'm hearing they weren't ideal. Maybe they weren't best for you. They weren't what's best for you, okay? And what is, what what you're moving towards or what this, um, I just heard recycling of energy, but I also kind of want to say this recalibration of energy for you is absolutely more in alignment with who you truly are or what your true worth is for some of you, what it is you want to provide to the collective to your environment to the universe whatever um i definitely feel like there has been a breakdown of your ego this year aries uh and it has gotten you for some of us it's gotten you more connected with nature um for others of us it's gotten you more connected to a deeper sense of worth or a deeper sense of self-worth what are you truly worthy of what are you truly worthy of desire deserving or um uh, deserving of receiving some of you have come to understand how you may have been lacking in receiving that which you truly deserve. And you may have come to realize with the King of Wands in reverse that what it was you were actively pursuing wasn't giving you, I heard the sense of freedom that you desired or what it is you truly desired to receive anyway. And so that sort of egoic pursuit, and, and for some of you that really does feel like it's an egoic pursuit because um, of conditioning, you know, of societal conditioning, familial conditioning, whatnot, whatever. I'm, I'm definitely feeling like going after things that you thought were in alignment with you or that you were taught that you should go after. But it was all coming from a sense of ego. It was all coming from a lower vibrational place. And there have been certain things that have happened for you over the course of this year, uh, Aries. I'm sorry, I did just want to say Leo. But um, maybe you have Leo in your chart. Uh, but the King of Wands does represent Leo, so okay. But um, there have you have run into certain things over this the course of this year, Aries, that has helped to kind of like <laughs> I did just hear beat your 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 ego into submission. All right, but it's all in service of the greater good, sure, true. But it's all in service of also your a greater sense of self worth. Okay, beautiful. All right, let's see. Anything else? What's next? Um, is it, let's see. Is, there's, is there anything else for Leo? Not Leo. I'm sorry. Aries. But maybe watch the Leo reading, especially also if you have Leo in your chart. Uh, but for Aries, what is anything else, Spirit, for this year in review for Aries? Yep. Yep. Wow. Okay. De lots of Leo energy because now you have the sun here. So... There may have been, uh, Leo may have been maybe a significant energy in your life. Again, you may have Leo in your chart. You may have had a Leo in your life that was really significant, like a significant other who has Leo in their chart or something like that, okay? But I say that because you have the sun here. You have the sun with the seven of pentacles. So over the course of 2021, Leo, uh, Aries, over the course of 2021, Aries, you've really been in an energy of coming to terms with some of the things that you were working towards that were just not in alignment with you, that were just not the right fit for you, okay? You have two more cards here, two of pentacles and the hanged man. So whatever you experienced over the course of 2021, Aries, 
um, it really helped to change your perspective that is also leading to help you gain more balance in your life, all right? And then overall energy here, you do have the Page of Cups. Underneath the Page of Cups is the Five of Cups. So there was, there, I definitely feel like Aries, there could have been a hell of a lot of sorrow for you this year. But ultimately that sorrow, feeling through that pain, getting through that pain, has kind of like almost f fertilized you or helped to unlock a lot of things that were energetically holding you back or were being held back energetically. Um, and I feel like you're, you're coming out of this refreshed. I don't know if you feel that right now, but I definitely feel this energy of coming out of, coming out of 2021 feeling quite refreshed and entering into the new year in a very different attitude and energy than you started, than, than you were in previously. Okay, Aries. All right, I really like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put all of this to the side here. And I'm gonna get into my next deck. And I want to give this five shuffles for you, Aries. And we'll see what's what's to come in 2022. Yeah, this is one. I'm going to have to adjust my shot here because the sun is making things a little problematic with the view, I guess. I don't know. This is two. Anyway. This is three for Aries. So what's to come for Aries for 2022? Four. And five. Alrighty, kids. So what's to come for Aries for 2022? What does Aries need to look out for? What could be coming Aries' way? Okay. Okay. Overall energy for you, Aries, is the five of pentacles. But underneath the Five of Pentacles is the Three of Pentacles to the Six of Pentacles, all right, to the Ace of Wands. So I feel like what's what's coming, ooh, yeah, the Ace of Wands to the Nine of Pentacles. So, so 2022 is looking like a year or an energy at least in which you are going to be working on rebuilding yourself, okay? Coming out of a sense of poverty, um, I, I, I just heard indentured servitude. Yikes, okay, um... Now that makes that actually makes sense, Aries, because what you have that's come out here on the on the floor or on the table here, the first card out was the Page of Wands in reverse, and that that doesn't seem like such a positive energy to be going into the ne the new year with. However, coupled with the rest of what you have here, Aries, it's actually a really good thing, because I feel like specifically, Aries, you're you're specifically saying no to things that don't serve you any longer. Okay, with that you have the Ace of Swords and temperance. So it, it seems, it seems Aries, that 2021 was a year for you in which a lot was put into perspective or a lot was put into view for you. Okay. Like we said here, we have the hanged man in your past energy for 2021. So there's a big change in perspective that has happened for you. And as you're moving into 2022, I feel like you're taking action with that. Okay. So you are you are putting the change into action, into motion. You are actually making the change. You are communicating this change. You are literally taking yourself out of things that you don't identify with any longer. And that's in service, all in service of greater balance and harmony in your life. Yes. Interesting. Okay, so what you also have here with uh, for the year 2022, you have the Eight of Pentacles with the Moon. Twenty twenty two is definitely feeling like a year for you, Aries, in which you are going to be working towards things. Now, I feel like, I feel like for some of you, with what the Eight of Pentacles and the Moon is talking about, is that you're going to be working on building things that you're not necessarily sure how it's going to work out. Maybe there's a, a good amount of ambiguity involved with it, but that that's the. But I feel like things are ambiguous for you, Aries, because you're doing something brand new. Not like you're reinventing the wheel, but like in the realm of your life, and maybe your wheelhouse of skills or whatnot or or abilities. Maybe that has changed. Maybe you've been learning new things, or maybe you be will be learning new things. But I feel like Aries, you're going to be doing something brand new in your life, that is, that may seem kind of out of out of character for some of you in terms of the people that know around you that know you best 
<laughs> or think they know you best, right? Um, there's something hidden. And maybe with whatever it is you're working on, Aries, maybe you're being secretive about it to a certain extent. And that wouldn't be bad. But I just feel like you're working... Okay, some of you actively are working on your shadow. That's also what the eight of... Oh, I'm sorry, what the what the moon could represent here. A, a sense of shadow. Your shadow side. Um, I'm definitely feeling an energy for you, Aries, of pulling yourself up out of darkness throughout the course of the coming year. And that it also feels like whatever it is, the processes that you're putting in place or whatever it is you work towards for the year, uh, throughout the year of 2022, it's going to set you up for massive possibilities or greatness in the future. I literally feel like you're building something brand new in your life for this uh, this year that's really going to change the course of everything for your life moving forward. Like the year 2022, Aries, for you feels like just the beginning, you know, of massive change in your life, okay? Anything else for Aries for 2022? Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, so you do have two more cards here that have come out, and they did fall out on the year of 2021 in the past. Um, it's the Five of Wands to the Ten of Pentacles. So in relation to the past, or at least Aries, in relation to uh, what it is you experienced over the year of 2021, this whatever, whatever catalyzed this big egoic shift for you, I feel like you really let go of a lot of people's opinions about you. Or maybe you've let go of a lot of what the outside world has to say or how the outside world defines your life or elements of life that have ultimately influenced you to pursue things that were not truly in alignment with you. Or maybe you just found that you didn't want to do it anymore, whatnot, whatever. But... I feel like with the Five of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles here, there is a completion of a process that has set you free. And now overall energy, you do have the Seven of Cups to the Queen of... Wow, Aries. The Seven of Cups to the Queen of Cups to the Hanged Man. All right. I really feel like you, my dear friend, are stepping out on your own here. Emotionally balanced, emotionally secure. And I feel like there's a sense of excitement here for you. Be with the Seven of Cups, because now that you finally seem to have released, Spirit wants to say, released other people's opinions of you or about you, now you are free to dream. Page of Cups is the last overall energy of 2021 for you, right? And I feel excitement here with this Seven of Cups, because now you, I think you finally, I think you've realized at this point that there you have so many options. There are so many things you can do, Aries. And you're emotionally balanced and secure and ready and have the sufficient change in perspective to really handle that, to really go for that, okay? That's beautiful, Aries. I love this for you. All right, let's close this out for you and get your Oracle card from the Lightworker Oracle, yeah? Three shuffles. One. Hold on. I'm sorry. I've got I've got to shift because the sun is like right in my face. Hold on a second. Okay, that's a little better. All right. Three shuffles for you, Aries. One. For your closing oracle guidance. This is two. And this is three. All right. Closing oracle guidance for Aries coming out of 2021 and moving, shifting, moving, and grooving into 2022, yeah? Closing Oracle Guidance for Aries, please, Spirit. Card number 27, Cosmic Heart, Cosmic Christ. Yeah, look at this, look at this. You are elevating your vibration towards the frequency of limitless supply and unconditional love. Spiritually, you are reaching for a high level of attainment. Past pain and self-defeating behaviors shall no longer have a place in your heart. 
That's beautiful, Aries. Oh my god, yeah, I'm gonna leave that there. That is such a beautiful closing message. All right? So I, I definitely feel like you are opening up to the joy of life, but also the reality and even, not, even the joy of all that you can be. And that's excellent. All right, guys. Well, I hope you have a fantastic rest of the year. And I hope 2022 is light years better than it may have been, than 2021 may have been. Yeah. I'm sending you all so much love. If you would like to get a personal reading in terms of a end of the year review for you personally, and then looking into what, um, uh, what 2022 has for you, definitely send me an email. All of the information can be found in the description box below, and I will get you all that information and get you signed up. Yeah? Excellent. Have a great one, Aries. Mwah! Bye! <laughs>